The BFG by Roald Dahl. Read by Debbie Derryberry. Dream catching. Deliver us from weasels! The devil is dancing on my dibbler! What are you talking about? Sophie said. The BFG was getting more distressed every moment. Oh, bash my eye bones, he cried, waving the jar in the air. I come all this way to get lovely golden dreams, and what is I catching? What are you catching? Sophie said. I is catching a frightsome troggle humper, he cried. This is a bad, bad dream. It is worse than a bad dream. It is a nightmare. Oh, dear, Sophie said. What will you do with that? I is never, never letting it go, the BFG cried. If I do, then some poor little toddler will be having the most curd bloodling time. This one is a real kicksy bog thumper. I is exploding it as soon as I get home. Nightmares are horrible, Sophie said. I had one once and I woke up sweating all over. You're hurting me, Meg, Charles said sharply. Let me go. No, Meg said grimly. We've been all wrong. Charles Wallace's voice, Meg thought, might have been a recording. There was a canned quality to it. He isn't an enemy at all. He's our friend. Nuts, Calvin said rudely. You don't understand, Calvin, Charles Wallace said. Mrs. What's-It, Mrs. Who, and Mrs. Which have confused us. They're the ones who are really our enemies. We never should have trusted them for a minute. He spoke in his calmest, most reasonable voice, the voice which infuriated the twins. He seemed to be looking directly at Calvin as he spoke, and yet Meg was sure that the bland blue eyes could not see, and that someone, something else, was looking. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Cabin Fever, by Jeff Kinney. Read by Debbie Derryberry. It's too much pressure to be on your best behavior for a whole month. The most I can really handle is six or seven days in a row. So if they move Thanksgiving to the week before Christmas, it would be fine by me. In fact, I have a few friends in that category who I think act a little extra jerky around now just because they can. The thing that really makes me nervous is this whole Santa issue. The fact that he can see you when you're sleeping and knows when you're awake really creeps me out. So I've started wearing sweatpants to bed because I really don't need Santa seeing me in my underwear.